same time, I like it still being called the Divas Championship because it does set it apart from every other, you know, federation that, that's around the world. Because, you know, women wrestlers, if you say Divas Championship, it's the ultimate championship a women wrestler can have. So I, I still like the name Diva, but, you know, just take the butterfly away and, and what can be happy? Right? <laughs> Not all of us are good like girls. Right? Maybe we could uh, replace it with a unicorn or some other... Shut uh, your mouth. Cute, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I will so puke rainbows over you right now. <laughs> and I got Shelly's birthday gift. Oh, you did? Thank you. Oh, none of your business. <laughs> it's an Akadakasha. By Akadaka, I mean ACTC. <laughs> Thanks, brother man. Sorry, I like to whip out an American accent now and again. It's not great, but at least I try. Ours isn't either. What? Our accent's not great either. Uh, actually, I realize if a British person does an American accent, it's a lot better than when Americans try to do a British accent. It all sounds like the cast of Annie when Americans try to do it. <laughs> oh, hello, can I have some more? And I'm like, oh my gosh, you don't sound like that. <laughs> I'm slightly offended. <laughs> What'd you say? I will slap you with this <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Is yours on back end? That's no. sad. <laughs> oh, wait, that, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, I heard that they are going to be replacing Naomi on Total Divas with Amanda from Tough Enough. Is that true? Oh my god, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it were true, how would you feel about that? If it were true, I would say that's BS. <laughs> but that's the way the business is, so you have to just be happy. Thank you. <laughs> Kill people with kindness, people. You're, get, you're getting better with these uh, diplomatic answers. I know. I used to get in a lot of trouble, I told you. <laughs> Usually I'd be like, F on this. <laughs> what? Hey! <laughs> Next question. Um, if you could wrestle anybody from the past, like Trish Stratus or Lita, uh, who would you choose to wrestle? Good question. Yeah, this question. It would be, of those choices, it would definitely be Lita. Leah, he already knows that I get asked that question a lot. Leah, also Bull Nakano, which was the one that, <laughs> for someone of you hardcore wrestling fans will know who Bull Nakano is, is, where I got my submission from. Yeah. I'm a little bit modified. Um, but yeah, Leah, um, Molly Holly is another one. I like a couple, I like them. Thank you. I don't let like your plates, <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> are you being mean to me? No way. Uh, I like the nicest person you'll ever meet. Hey, I really like her shirt. Good job, brother. <laughs> I'll let Kev know. Who's your favorite WWE wrestler? Oh, I hate everyone. Uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, who is my favorite? Okay, I like Bray Wyatt. Because I secretly want to be part of the Wyatt family. Get me out of this name, is delicious. Um, <laughs> Sister Abigail, Sister Paige, whatever happens. Um, I love Brock Lesnar just because I want to go to Suplex City. I, I really do want to be German like 24 times in a row and be happy. That would, that would be my lifelong goal. Wouldn't you love that? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> And uh, I guess from the past, though, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero. Yes! All right, good, good choice. I'm doing good. <laughs> Any wrong decision, I take it back. I don't know if you remember me from Richmond. You are the cutest little thing. Yeah, my pocket. <laughs> but you're in my house now. I take that back. Hey, I don't mind slapping children. Oh. And I made this for you. Oh, okay. Okay, you can, that's fine. It's a housework gift. Aw, thank you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks, beautiful. Thank you. Insult me, then give me a gift. That's the way to treat me. 
news and then give you the good news. Yeah, it's like when your boyfriend's in trouble and then he buys you flowers afterwards. It's just like, okay, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Get back in the good books. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Um, we talked. <laughs> We talked earlier about pop music, which you said you don't like, which is which I'm breaks not, my heart. Which I, is I'm not yeah. like I'm not like yeah. hating it. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm right. just mean I so, have other music genres that I like more. Right. So, uh, best band out of uh, England, I think, is Iron Maiden. Do you have a favorite Iron Maiden song by any chance? I don't have a favorite Iron Maiden song. I'm not I'm not like a big Iron Maiden fan, although I am. I love '80s metal, so I'm, I'm into like Skid Row and stuff like that. If you like that. And then modern stuff, obviously, I like a day to remember. Anyone who's written a day to remember shirts, thank you, brothers and sisters. But yeah. Thanks, thanks. You're welcome. Sorry for disappointing you. It's okay. You've been crying to my hair in a second. It's all fake anyway. You're going to scratch it off? I will slap you so hard. Squirt him. I'll kick it. It's okay. You can, like, take it off. Yeah. Go nuts. Uh, what's your favorite match that you've ever been a part of? <sighs> oh. Um, okay, sorry. I'm the most awkward person, I apologize. Um, I really, I actually really enjoyed my match with Sasha recently. Like, anything with Sasha Banks, like, I really, I'm really happy with. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then, you know, anything with NXT, you know, NXT arrival, NXT takeover with Emma, I was super happy with. And then when me and Nikki had the first two sick match that the Divas had in, a, in years, that, that was one of my favorite matches too. And then obviously, I have to say, my debut, even though it lasted like 20 seconds, <laughs> because I became the champion. Um, <laughs> and then I like my summer slam match with AJ too, because I became the champion. <laughs> I want to take a, a, one of the questions in line. What do you think about uh, the next takeover being headlined by Sasha and Bailey and Iron Woman match? I feel like it should have been in, on Brooklyn too because they stole the show. Yes. Absolutely stole the show. Like the women are on a whole other level than NXT. They're absolutely amazing. And Bailey deserves to be up on the road really soon. I want her up here. Yeah. All right, hey. How long before? Uh, Headline of pay per view. I don't know. <laughs> We're not NXT. We don't get 30 man out in their matches. Well, it's. You guys I'm are, leaving. You guys are making some great strides, though. Oh, we're doing great. We're doing great, but we're not getting 30 man out in their matches. Viva the revolution. Viva the revolution. I can't believe they made me say that. I wanted to punch myself in the face for saying that. Like, you really want me to say Viva the Diva Revolution? <laughs> This is a change. No, it's highlighted. He definitely wants you to say that. Of everything, he wants me to Okay. You sure you want me to have to try to change it for like a good 20 minutes? Like, no, seriously. I hate my life. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love it. I'm just kidding. How was it working with AJ? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. She was, she was like an amazing, amazing girl, and she is someone in, you know, the modern era that I was very different, unique, and really, she was kind of carrying the Divas Division on her shoulders by herself, and she didn't have to wrestle to do it. So I was like super, like I super looked up to her, so. And she was great on my debut, she was always great with me, and she helped me through the whole thing, and you know, she stopped me from being so nervous, because you know what, I was crap at bricks, so. <laughs> and she helped me through it, so she's awesome. Freaks and geeks, guys, freaks and geeks. Hi. Um. So when you were first asked to work with Charlotte and Becky Lynch, what was your initial reaction to that? Uh, I've always cool. Like I, I am very much a singles wrestler. Like that sounds a bit selfish, but I am a very because then you don't have to worry about what everyone's doing in a match, and you know, like worry about other people. Um, but I was super happy because with Becky, actually, I was on the Indies with her, and I've known her since I was 13 years old. So we went from the Indies together to being in the WWE together. So that was like huge and then um i remember way back when i thought charlotte wasn't ready for the road and you know she really kicked butt in the last couple of months so i'm super proud of her and i'm super happy that she's she's in our little clique yeah vince calls us the freak show for some reason and i know like, <laughs> we're still doing this too still women not freaks thank you i'm a freak actually i take that back <laughs> uh, 
Okay, tell us and ask you, do you think um, the women will ever do like a tables or like a ladder or a match? I would suit? love to. What do I say? If nothing else, do a cage match where they can spray paint everything pink. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> the money in the bag, pink suitcase, oh. tables, pink tables. Like, it's, it's girly, but let's go through it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you might as well, it's still diva. Yeah. So, like, do you think anytime soon, or just maybe? Like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I can try and make it happen. I could probably get fired in the process, but... <laughs> I wouldn't want that in my hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because that would come after you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what are some of your favorite to date or memory song? Um, I love All I Want. Oh, all right. Okay, I like that. <laughs> and Second Sucks. If you hear Second Sucks, it's a very angry song, but you know, it's about song. It's about, if, if you have an enemy, it's the perfect song for an enemy. And you know what? I suck with people, so I hit a lot of people, so it's perfect for me. I'm just kidding. I love every single one of you. Just most divas. What does it feel like when you hit the mat? Oh, you can take it off, buddy. You're so cute. What does it feel like when you hit the mat? Hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. You have a lot of adrenaline inside you, though. So when you take a bath, you can't feel it too much. The wind gets taken out of you a little bit, and sometimes you can get a little bit of whiplash. But Afterwards, when the adrenaline's run down and you know you're cooling down, that's when you start to hurt a lot. Yeah, you know, I'm 23 and I feel like I'm 50 <laughs> in the wrestling world. What's the worst bump you've taken? Ooh, child. Um, <laughs> I've taken some crazy bumps actually. On the indies, I used to do a lot of hardcore matches, and I would uh, come off ladders through tables. We can't do that here, obviously. <laughs> I wish I could. Um, but yeah, like those are probably the craziest bumps. And I took like bumps on thumbtacks as well. I was in a hardcore match. My dad put me in a hardcore match. <laughs> he was like, you're going to be in a street fight and we don't have many, um, you know, weapons. So we're just going to go around this bar and we're going to take whatever's in there. And I'm like, dad? <laughs> he got this trash can, emptied it. But it was a trash can that was full of broken beer bottles. He was like, oh, well, empty it. There's still a lot glass in it. So a girl put it over my head and was hit with a kendo stick. I literally, like, my whole body was covered in, in, like, glass, and my dad was like, you did great, and I'm, like, crying. I'm like, thanks, Dad, are you proud of me? Was he mad at you before this? No, he just he just loves a good wrestling show. <laughs> I told you I got hit by a car, he made me wrestle the same day. <laughs> tough sure. love, tough love. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Hi, Paige. Hello. <laughs> in January, I'm moving to... Academy. Oh, I was wondering cool. if there's any advice you could give me on getting into pro wrestling. I can give you advice when you get into pro wrestling. Okay. That's save your money because get, I'm being serious, you can all be going tomorrow and you have to save your money. You really, really do. And that's the first thing that they tell us too. And um, what The Rock told me was always stay humble and hungry. You know, because you want to stay humble because people will want to work with you because if you're a bit of a douche, <laughs> you're going to have less people to work with. And that's not good. And then um, always be hungry because you always want to set those goals, you know, and carry on reaching goals. Like, you know, I've been Divas Champion twice, but I feel like I can do more than that. I can be Divas Champion more. I can head beyond more, more WrestleManias. I can headline a pay-per-view, you know, like always have goals and be very patient because it all doesn't come to you like straight away. For some people, maybe, if you're a glamour model. <laughs> but for some of us, <laughs> you know it, Tim. <laughs> or if your parents in the business. But some of us, it's a little bit harder to get into. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just be patient. It's a long road. But I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. You're Hi, Tim White. <laughs> Timmy! And when you, when you wrestle, sir, can you wear those pants? Those are incredible. I am in love. Not with you, with him. Strangers outside. <laughs> Yikes. Now you got the weirdo Star Trek crowd coming in. Oh. Guys <laughs> <laughs> just waits out there. <laughs> I don't know what to do. 
Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you coming in or are you going to stand out there? You got to come in. <laughs> Don't make it weird. Welcome. Or you can just carry on staring at me, perverts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you walk away. <laughs> Timmy, yeah. <laughs> I think they're crying, sorry. <laughs> Alright, bye. Alright, so the question I originally had in mind was asked, so I'm just gonna say hi. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so all done, this is over. <laughs> now I was like, alright, I'm done. Alright, so in NXT, you are known as the anti diva. Uh huh. Um, and I feel like a lot of people respond to you and people like AJ so positively because you guys are women's, women's wrestlers in a sea of divas wrestlers, mm -hmm. so to speak. Thank you. Um, now that being said, um, AJ didn't want to do Total Divas. Why did you choose to do Total Divas and kind of follow the Divas crowd? Well, actually, a lot of fans were very, very, very sad that I went up to Total Divas. Like, literally, like, it was blasphemy! You sold out! I hate you! You sold out! But actually, when it comes to it, I'm using Total Divas as a platform to get positive messages out there. So, with me, I'm, I want people to be themselves and not to be afraid to be themselves. And a lot of people say that, but you know what? I didn't get in when I tried to be what I, do, what I do was supposed to be. I, I tanned, I got blonde hair, and that wasn't me. They didn't like it. I came back as myself, they loved it, and that's a good message to preach. And I, I'm trying to tell that on Total Divas right now. And there was a scene where a girl came, comes up to me and she's crying, and like I'm trying to shop with Foxy for the Hall of Fame, this girl's just like, you made me get over my eating disorder because you weren't afraid to be yourself. And that, that broke my heart and it made me happy at the same time. You know, so um, I use it as a platform for positive messages. And you know what, I'm going to be doing a lot of animal rights things too, and I'm going to be doing a lot of glad things too, you know, I'm doing it, this is all for po like positivity. You know, I'm not just there, I don't want to do the red carpets, I don't want to go to the award ceremonies that they come up. Cool, I'm going to dress in my Doc Martens and ripped jeans and just be done with it. But I'm not there for that. <laughs> don't stop me on this run. Hi Paige, I'm Rena. I'm a new fan of yours. Oh yeah, I like your hair, I told you earlier. Oh, you did, thank you, thank you. I don't have a question, I just wanted to thank you for being you, and your answer just fits into what I was going to say. Like, I grew up watching wrestling, there was no rest female wrestlers. There was Miss Elizabeth, and she looked fabulous, and I loved it, but I think I missed my calling to be a female wrestler. I didn't have you growing up, so I think you're awesome, and I thank you for being a role model to the young ladies this age. That's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Georgia. Thank you so much. Who do you think this is the most annoying person backstage? Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> do you have time? <laughs> Who? Actually, I love Biz. He's secretly a nice guy. Get old, Mikey. Um, Cameron? <laughs> But she never comes to work, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> or the guys that I'm extremely blunt, I'm sorry guys. Or, or, the, or the stars that aren't allowed to be pranked on Swerved. Or the stars that aren't allowed to be pranked on Swerved, like Tyson Neal. <laughs> <laughs> He's nice now, he forgave me for electrocuting him. Hi again. Um, <laughs> if you ran the company itself, like if, if I ran for president, yeah. If you were Triple H or Stephanie, how would you run the company? I think that doing, you know, a pretty good job right now, I would probably change up the matches a little bit because we, you know, there's only so, so much you can see Dolph versus Rusev and, yeah. <laughs> you know, and like so many, you know, three like, girls tag matches you can see. And that's why um, I actually went into Vince at SmackDown and I changed the finished, like, to our match on SmackDown to the to the brawl because I was like I feel like it needs something different, like it needs to be spiced up a little bit. And Sasha was all for it, so then we did it and it got a great response. And you know that was the second day in a row the crowd were chanting "This is awesome," which was amazing. So um, yeah, I would just like I would just spice it up a little bit. I wouldn't just keep having the same thing, but it's not their problem. It's the writing team. Thank you. Hi. Um, how, how old? when you started to like train wrestling and what advice do you have for somebody who wants to be a diva in the future? Okay, so I gave someone the same advice earlier. Humble, hungry, stay patient, save your money. 
but um, I started when I was, I actually started training when I was 13, had my first professional match when I was 13. Yeah, so um, I was, I grew up in the wrestling business, obviously with my whole family, but my brothers would take me in the ring during my dad's training school, like academy, and that little, like show me some stuff. We used to do like that rock band dance bar, like what we used to call it. Um, we used to basically just rip off all the wrestlers, like stir ball and get rock bottoms to each other. But you know, I knew, I knew some things, but yeah, professionally I started when I was 13. Right, Ten years later, still alive. She looks like Nikki Bella. Do you see her? Does oh, like, don't. Does, I mean, it just makes I just want to like. No, I love Nikki Bella. You know what? The, the Bellas get a hard time, but those two, if you see them backstage or one of the hard, like the hardest.